In our previous video, we learned that the underlying causes are working hard to make you gain weight and not with good health. And that is the reason why we have to take a holistic approach for weight loss. So let's start our journey into the step-by-step -step holistic approach for weight loss. And in this video, we are going to focus on weight gain related to insulin resistance, the cause and effects, and the possible solution. So what is insulin resistance? To understand that, we need to understand a little bit of basics about the foods we eat. The food we eat contains the macronutrients such as carbohydrates, proteins, and fat. These carbohydrates are taken into our digestive system and are broken down to simpler compounds called as glucose. This glucose will be now taken from the blood into the cell with the help of an hormone called insulin. Insulin is a key that allows the glucose into the cell and it acts as a doorkeeper. But for this, it has to get docked to the right parking site, which we call it as insulin receptors. Insulin is released in the blood in response to the amount of glucose that is released in it. This is directly proportional to the glucose, which means pancreas will work hard to produce more insulin when more glucose is released into the system. But the real problem is when the insulin receptors are not efficient enough to dock them. This usually happens when insulin levels goes beyond normal. This is something like having more cars but not having enough parking space. We ending up in a traffic jam is an initial stage for insulin resistance. I would refer to them as hyperinsulinemia. Lab levels for HbA1c and glucose might be normal, except your insulin levels might be high. If you're able to catch your insulin resistance at this point, you're quite lucky because your weight gain problem is likely because of high insulin that is causing a fat deposit there. What is the trigger for insulin resistance in the first place? A wrong choice of food with plenty of refined carbs and processed food could be one of those triggers. And other possible triggers could be the infection or it can be simply as food sensitivities that triggers an inflammation. Today's video, we'll be fixing the wrong choice of foods, which can be controlled by choosing foods with low glycemic index. Glycemic index is the rate at which carbohydrate is getting converted to glucose in the blood. One such example is a moong and plantain stem curry with a boiled peanut salad on the side. Anti-insulin resistance activity of the banana stem along with your high content of fiber and the polyphenols makes them a very apt ingredient for weight loss. You may thinly size them and then store them in water. Drain them and set all the ingredients that you need to make this recipe. We need just six cups of minced plantain stem and one cup of yellow moong with all other seasoning ingredients. Ginger is a great digestive aid that helps to activate the secretion of digestive juices. Other seasoning ingredients also has its own significance and we may cover all of them in detail in our gut dysbiosis video. We start by preheating the oil and spluttering the mustard seeds. Then you may add all the ingredients one by one as they keep cooking. Stir fry the plantain stem and now you may add the washed mung bean to the pan. You may also add 6 to 7 cups of water or simply eyeball it until the water is completely covering the all the ingredients. Once the water boils, you may simmer it for another 15 to 20 minutes until the mung bean and the plantain stem is fully cooked. For peanut salad, all you need is soaked and cooked peanuts with some mint leaves and orange and red beets with some microgreens. Also need some lemon and ginger with some olive oil and salt and pepper for the dressing. Simply mix them all together for a tasty and a healthy salad. While the low glycemic index foods helps with the slow release of glucose, the portioning of your food will help to reduce your glycemic load which is the amount of glucose that is released every time. So here is the low glycemic, high fiber, nutrient dense Indian traditional recipe that helps fights the insulin resistance. 
Here are the key takeaways. Insulin resistance promotes fat storage leading to weight gain. The key triggers being excessive intake of refined and processed foods, causing nutrition depletion along with chronic inflammation due to food sensitivities infection and much more. Choosing foods with low glycemic index and low glycemic load helps to control the insulin resistance in the initial stages. Fiber is one such magic ingredient that helps with insulin resistance and weight loss. Let's not forget the importance of exercise to improve the insulin resistance because exercise promotes glucose uptake in muscles even without the action of insulin. So it's the lifestyle change. And remember, we just started the journey and we have a long way to go. And consistency is the key. Let food be your medicine and medicine be your food.